all new at five. We're digging into a recent string of violent crimes in Norfolk. We just reported the update from a shooting on Monday. A man and woman dead from this scene on Ashby Street. Then Tuesday morning, a woman shot to death on Trice Terrace. And the most recent shooting being on O'Keefe Street. That man is expected to be okay. Turn on your side, Deanna LeBlanc asked the three candidates running for Norfolk mayor their plans to combat crime. Deanna. Yeah, Anita and Tom, and in any election, public safety tends to be a platform that candidates hit on and, and inform the public about. But in this particular race, it's of particular interest because one candidate is a current city council member who's talked about crime for years. Another candidate is the current sheriff in Norfolk. So we wanted to know how all three candidates, what they think of the recent shootings. In just two days in Norfolk, there were three shootings and four victims. Two of the shootings happened in broad daylight. It's not making it a campaign issue because I don't see it that way. Norfolk City Councilman and mayoral candidate Andy Protegiero told 10 on your side, right now he wants answers from top brass. I'm going to do exactly as mayor what I would do today, which is ask the chief where we are, what, is the, what are the solutions that you have, and what's the plan? But the two other mayoral candidates say they have their own plans. One of the things that I'd like to see is uh, really go back to our community policing model that we had about 20 years ago. Sheriff Bob McCabe, a former police officer already supported by the police union, is sticking with his platform that the police department is understaffed and officers aren't paid enough. Between uh, military leave, uh, desk duty, admin leave, and vacancies, uh, the police department has about 75 positions to 100 that should be on the street that aren't. And obviously that impo impacts being able to respond to different areas. Longtime state senator Kenny Alexander spoke by phone from Richmond. He says his plan includes using his relationships with the governor and attorney general to get more funding. That would help him move his plan forward. But prevention and intervention and increased police presence and civic engagement and raids and sting operations and sweeps and strict enforcement are all important as well. And we will be hearing more from the candidates as we lead up to Election Day. Don't forget, that is on May 3rd. In the newsroom, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. 10 on your side.